up. Roberto Duran, pound for pound, the best fight of the last two decades. A man who intimidates opponents with those angry eyes. All right, guys, welcome for Boxing Nostalgia, episode number two for Roberto Duran. Uh, after the episode one against Ensubuga, we're going to watch Roberto Duran versus Wellington Wizzy, which is the fight that he fought just after. Still not for the title, just another fight at 147 against a good opponent, and the fight starts now. Two orthodox fighter. Whitley very bouncy on his feet, a lot of upper body movement. Duran in white, the opponent in red. This is fight just before he fought Sugar Ray Leonard and got one of the best wins in boxing history. So it's probably his third or fourth fight in, at welterweight. Oh, nice parry by Wellington. Oh, nice 3 2 by Roberto. Went from 0 to 100 quick. Oh, good job. Ooh, that was a good right hand by uh, Wellington. He caught Duran as he didn't move too much. Good left hook by Roberto Duran. Oh my god. Out of nowhere. So you can recognize the stance of Duran. We always have his right hand pretty high, almost near his jaw, and the left hand a bit lower. Get caught in some exchange. Duran, unlike some what people think, is kind of like a slow starter. He often get touched early. He's moving the head out of the center line, putting some pressure, but. There we go, trying to draw a reaction from uh, Wellington and then controlling often to the body and going upstairs after. Jab, one, two, move, okay, there we go. That's some pure Duran. So the jab, time the counter, duck under it and went to the body. Beautiful. A big right hand again. Good, uh, good one for Whitley so far. Roberto always try to jab and then level change and see how react Whitley can come with a uppercut behind it. So definitely Duran is putting pressure in, moving forward but cautious pressure. Good left hook but they change both of them land, good left hook again. Uh, it seems it's like the third time probably. That Duran hurt Wellington with the left hook. Ooh, that right ten. That was nice. First Wellington to move a lot though. Good first one for both guys. One but two. Ah, Joby Pocket. Left to right hand. But usually early is when the fighters run away from Duran, commit a terrible mistake of trying to run away from him. This fighter has not. He's fought intelligently. He stood in front of him. He's jabbing. Slipping the end speed of Wellington is pretty good also. Of course, Duran's one is great also. And it's very difficult now for Wellington to catch Duran clean. He really got a good straight right early in the fight. Ooh. Took a big right. Just here. Duran slowly but surely is dominating that fight. Yeah, I'm curious to see Duran work on the inside. So far, it's more it's closing the distance, shifting, and they get separated. There we go. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Let's see here what happens. Had to lose weight, he would get mad and he would get sharp. He hadn't had that same wolf like intensity they had. Oh, that's sweet too again. And Duran comes back, charge. 
Yeah, Wellington start to to struggle because Duran close the distance too easily now. And once they are there, look at Duran's head position is much better than Wellington. Okay. Duran time that jab, duck under, counter to the body. It seems to get close and closer. Easy. Uppercut left hook. Ooh. You cannot play that game against Roberto. You have to be more aware defensively. Not a good one for Wellington so far. Left hook again. Look how high the end of Roberto is. The right end, sorry. And the left end is very low, like the jab comes almost from the hips. Oh, again. Left hook again. Left hook works very well for Roberto in this fight. Because Wellington tries to counter with the right hand a lot. A big right hand from Roberto. That was nice. Manos de Piedra. Wellington is up though. Seems to be okay. A pocket to the body. Left to. What happened here? Weird what happened. Ooh, he's in trouble again. End of the round. 10 8 1 for Roberto Duran. No replay. Hope we can see it somehow. It was a nice knockdown. I like it. Big right hand. God damn. The balance of Roberto Duran is crazy. Because from every position, he can land something big and hard. Like he will go left hook. Right straight, like the one that knocked him down. And even though he dig a lot on this left hook, he still has good balance enough to to get his stance correctly and get the right hand going on. I don't know what happened here. I guess he's slip. And they touch gloves. It's parried. Yeah. Good fight from Duran so far. Much better than the first one. Oh, that was sick. He missed the right hand, but he used it to frame. Uh, Wellington and Galit with the left hook behind it. That was so sick. Even when he missed, oh, they went left hook for left hook. Oh, you don't want to take all of those, man. Like Duran is not the best outside fighter in the world, but he's still like pff, top talent. So either you let him battle you on the inside, or you play that game with him. But so far, Wellington needs to change stuff. That counter punching stuff, it doesn't work, it needs to move forward. Oh, nice walk to the body again. It's kind of shoving. Uppercut again! Ooh, and oh, Wellington is in trouble, big trouble. That's the type of victory Duran, he has so many of those in his career. Where, like, after one sweep, he pulled up and been knocked down or hurt bad, and they start to. Uh, have no solution because they don't win uh, the long range part of the game and on the inside of course they lose too and the counter, counter, counter punching strategy that they had didn't work and they are not able to move for a while because then they have to meet Roberto Duran on the inside so that's a big big problem speed at welterweight is something Duran, of course, is supposed to have advantage on many people coming from a lighter weight class, but he's not supposed to have more power than them. And that, that's probably what uh, Wellington is surprised by because Duran took some big left hook, but he didn't even move when the hook from Duran seems to do a lot of damage on Wellington, and it's a good combination by the Panamian. Whose movement is so. Uh, easy to recognize, you know, like if you just see a silhouette of Roberto Duran moving, you'd be like, oh, that's Duran. Oh, open the one with the left hook. Oh, those reflexes, man. Oh, he just fed the right hand, and you see the reaction? God, that's a slip. But it tells you, oh. Uh, Wellington is not scared, but like aware of the right hand. 
Just a simple fan got him to uh, completely under. It's crazy. Don't you run get this in the bag? Or one two the under. And the referee is same as in the last fight. They don't let walking on the inside. Confused by this. Every time he misses hook, he uses uh, the hand with the, the one he missed to like push down the head of Wellington from our oh, big uppercut. He went for left lead left hook and right uppercut. That was nice. And it's been too long that Wellington hasn't landed like a big big punch. Oh, right hand left hook to the body, left hook right hand upstairs this time. Got them. Push back Wellington. He's strong, man. He's smaller, but he's stronger than him. Uh, there won't be some inside fighting tonight, guys. It's just gonna be Duran from the outside, which is great enough. Oh, that uppercut. All right, let's see what Wellington can do here. The fight. Mm. Just not as accurate and sharp as Roberto, it's that simple. Ooh, that one two, that famous one two from Roberto, in which he closed the distance so well. It's crazy because he has great head movement, great upper body movement, so he doesn't get caught too much. Even when he get caught, he has such a good chin that he can take it. Oh, that was a big white end to the chest. Look at this. Wellington is moving st straight when he's coming forward, so it's definitely not gonna work for him. Oh, left hook to the body. Oh, he almost got counter bad with that pull head counter. Oh, look at that movement from Roberto, he dug two punches effortlessly. Jab, jab, two. And he doesn't miss. Those are perfect. Oh, left to right and is so beautiful to watch. Oh, again, he, use, he missed the right hand, use it to frame, and get him with the left hook. Oh, left hook again, right hand, oh, he's hurt. He big time. Good left hook to defend himself, but he's hurt. Yeah, he got done. Oh, left hook right hand, right to the belt, destroying bombs. Roberto missed the left to get the right to to the body. <sighs> oh, big white hand. Good counter by Wellington, but he seems to have wobbly legs. Oh, big leg left hook. And you know, it's kind of telegraphed, but it's so well um, executed that you can do shit about it. For Wellington, I mean, some people will have a lot of success controlling Joan, but not tonight. Oh, good right hand by uh, Wellington, but Joan. Let's keep moving forward. Right hand, left hook, right hand. A lot of work. Always busy, Roberto. Still working. Ed on the opposite side, uppercut left hook. That's Dwayne. Jab, jab, right hand. That's a very good performance from Roberto. Uh, a little bit like uh, the first fight we saw in the, the episode one, you know? Uh, when like in Subuga, he, he started a bit slow, then once he picked, it was all over. Right hook to the body as he come in. All of those they had, man. Uh, put his head on the left shoulder of Wellington and get him with the uppercut. So 
Wellington cannot hit anything, can only hit his left, uh, Roberto's left shoulder, while Roberto can hit him with the uppercut and the left hook. That's so brilliant. And Roberto's reflexes are so good. Oh, got him big time here. Is down again. He's getting back up though. Oh, do you want to continue? I'm not sure. He said yes, but sounds like a nah. Is the corners gonna stop it or are they gonna let him keep going? They're gonna let him keep going. Uh, let's oh yes some replay so he lets his left arm to be oh I told you right to pick it left hook and he did it again that was vicious god damn Roberto left hook good left hook by Roberto such good reflex and you know you can see Wellington is tired because doesn't bring back his punching hand near his head to protect him he just let it fall down it's too tired oh big left hook again left hook to the body over under from Roberto as always and now it's just oh god damn oh big left hook and he's down again oh you gotta stop that fight man what a performance man what a champion. Yeah, Wellington did whatever he could. Took a lot of punishment. Brilliant performance by, by Roberto. That was dope. I hope we can see a replay. But he's getting with a series of straight and left hook. That left hook again, man. Jab. Find the jab. Jab going big right hand. And left hook, right hand, left hook, right straight, left hook, left hook. Right straight, left hook. Left, oh. Not many people could take that All those stones on your body, in your face, man. And Roberto showing some compassion to his victim is very rare. Which means a lot of respect for Wellington for taking that fight. Or maybe he's a bit worried about his condition. And that's it, guys. We I'll see you real soon for episode number three. See you, guys.